Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Here's a question asked by one of you in the community, and yes, we are listening to the questions that you ask. Can't answer every single one of them, but feel free to ask anyway, here on YouTube, on LockerDome.net, on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, or, well, my email address, chris at perillo.com. And this question is specifically in relation to forms. Are CAPTCHA codes an effective bot deterrent, or are they just annoying? And in my estimation, they're nothing but annoying. Even when instituting various CAPTCHA mechanisms, and a CAPTCHA code would be something like you're filling out a form, and in order to hit submit, first you have to type in a random series of letters and numbers to verify that it's actually you, a human being, rather than some kind of robot. Well, here's the thing. CAPTCHA codes have been debunked in terms of their usefulness in terms of stopping spam. They haven't really stopped spam, because the spammers end up buying people's time pennies on the dollar, to bust through those CAPTCHA codes and posting stuff that you would rather not see posted on various forums and the like. CAPTCHA codes are pointless. Now I realize some who have instituted CAPTCHA codes say, no, no, they really work. I'm sure they do curb spam, but I would wonder, um, given how many times I've encountered them and thought that I was typing in the right series of alphanumeric characters, only to find out that I wasn't doing it right, uh, I got frustrated. So to me, they're annoying. And I bet that you are probably just as annoyed with CAPTCHA. So the next question would be, what would you institute, if it were up to you, uh, instead of these uh, CAPTCHA codes on a website, have you tried anything? And I know certain users have done this. Instead of uh, putting up a CAPTCHA code, they'll have a question uh, that a bot can't necessarily read or interpret. Uh, interpret? Interpret? In interpret's not a word, hon! <clears throat> Bot probably wouldn't have picked that up. And I may have asked the question, how do you spell interpret? And, you know, a bot would go, That's, I don't know how to break through this. When you're asking a question that a human being can better answer. And, and some users have found by going through that, uh, I guess you would say, hurdle, uh, has curbed the amount of spam posted to their blog, form, etc. The bottom line, especially if you're using a system that a lot of other people use, exploits can and will be found. Uh, my business partner, Jake Luddington, has uh, discovered a few other mechanisms that have made it easier to alleviate the strain that uh, some, uh, I guess, uh, blogs or uh, forums might have when they get hammered by these spam bots. Uh, it's been very helpful in his experience in building sites uh, for various clients. And uh, even though we hadn't necessarily needed to go that far, I certainly monitor all the comments that come in every day and try to eliminate all the ones that are absolutely junk, especially when they exist on our own domains like uh, chris.perillo.com, lockernome.com, and certainly lockernome.net. And I'm very grateful that we have a handful of moderators who help with that, uh, including uh, Kevin, who in no small part is helping keep uh, lockernome.net clean, as well as uh, Matt, uh, who uh, I don't know if he's as active anymore. He kind of got a little busy with things, but certainly we're very grateful for people in the community who help so that we don't have to, uh, I guess, force CAPTCHA down everybody's throats because I find CAPTCHA annoying. You probably do too, I'm guessing. What would you replace it with? There's the question. Now it's your turn to answer. We'll see you later.